Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Oh, I get a video out showing what I've been working on for the last week or so. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, sorry about that. Uh, been kind of busy with some other things and the live streams and trying to jam on getting some of this stuff done. Um, start with, I did complete the uh, Tribuse HAC, which is a heavy assault cruiser. Um, so this is basically its uh, final Reforged Eden product. Um, I don't have a version of this for vanilla at this point. Um, I might do that though, we'll see. I didn't want to build a separate version for each, but I, there's a lot of uh, things that you could add on to the ship um, in vanilla versus Reforged Eden, at least stock. So I don't know, I'll have to think about that one. But essentially speaking, um, it is uh, CPU compliant with Reforged Eden. And let's see here. Uh, looking at the stats on it, it uh, uh, about a 25 hour build time. Um, comes stock with 11 missile turrets, three artillery turrets, uh, 10 cannon turrets, and five flak turrets. Now it has room for a lot more weaponry um, and thrusters and other things. Uh, beyond that, again, it's a it's a CPU thing. Couldn't put it all in there stock. Now, uh, give you a quick tour here, and I'm going to go to uh, mood lighting here. Um, so inside the ship, you got a pretty good size hangar um, when you first come in there, and it's got a triple hangar door on the back. Uh, only has two 320k storage uh, units, one for ammo, one for uh, regular storage two advanced constructors kind of tied to those. Uh, you have uh, a cooking station and a fridge over on the one side of the hangar, and then you got your medical area with all your uh, specialized medical stuff, plus O2, and then your uh, armor locker and uh, armor repair over there. There's a hole on the floor here where you can put in a repair bay and then maybe dump a console on the side over here is what I was thinking. I couldn't do it stock again because of CPU, but it's something that you could add on if you uh, want the functionality of that. Now, on the side of the hangar, there are these two walkways that kind of come out from the other room that uh, have all these uh, glow-in-the-dark doors on here right now. Um, and these are basically giving you access to all your thrusters or places where you could put thrusters that I had to leave, leave off stock. Um, so I figured, uh, one feature of this is, uh, that you can repair like a lot of stuff or most things from the inside. Oh, I didn't text you the inside of that yet. Eh. All right. Well, anyway, so you have, uh, those kind of going along both sides, just giving you access to a whole ton of thrusters. Uh, the ones in the far, far back over here, I, I could not connect the, uh, the staircase too to make that work so you can still access it from in the hangar um, so as you come through the ship here let me get out of god mode a second and uh, you start getting into uh, pretty big engineering sections in the ship for sure um, in this lower room here this is where uh, gravity generator a uh, spot for offline protection could go your two main uh, or your two big generators that are in here um, in the center between the two generators, there is a uh, kind of a maintenance area so you could repair them or replace them if they're damaged or blown up. Um, I got the core of the ship actually located here at this, this point. Um, this whole area is quite protected uh, around, around the outer side. So not necessarily in here, but it is a kind of midship, harder place to get to. Um, if you're going to be in uh, combat with like AI ships and stuff, I don't expect that area to take a lot of damage. Um, I would think most of the damage would take uh, place actually where we haven't been yet um, in the ship. So coming through there, you get into the uh, the CPU core room, um, basically a bunch of uh, tier CPU blocks to bring it to the 2.1 million CPU. And then you've got room on the sides here to add in some quantum cores and other, you know, some quantum cores and stuff to increase that CPU, which it, it is definitely recommended. You know, the, the ship could do a lot more with more CPU for sure. Um, talk about all the different available weapon mount positions and thruster positions and stuff. 
as well um, in a sec here. So once you get out of there, um, to go to the other part of the engineering is basically up the door over here, and this is where you'll find the shield and the warp core. The warp core is a standard warp core and not the advanced one, so it only has a 30 uh, light year uh, maximum warp uh, stock. Now you can upgrade that again, it's a CPU thing. It was whatever I could do to sa shave a little bit of uh, CPU off from this thing. I did not downgrade the shield though, it's got the, uh, the, the full big shield on it. Um, when you come up to the front here, this used to be a torpedo launch room. Um, I, however, remove, well, a launcher bay, I had these, uh, these doors that would open up and give you access to this stuff, and I ended up removing all of them um, and kind of filling it in with blocks. So it's a little tougher, but you lost the uh, four front uh, launcher bays, um, which I guess is probably not a very good spot to put them anyway, so I don't think it's a real big loss. Um, again, uh, down here you've got more access to repair some of the uh, thrusters or add thrusters into the ship. And then you have this uh, lower area, bulkhead area, which is really meant to just fill in with some xeno blocks if you, if you want to beef up the armor a little bit more on the, on the front side of the ship. So, let me get back out of engineering here. Um, as you come through here, now there's a central elevator that gets you to all the floors as well, and some new LCDs. Uh, I was kind of messing with a little bit uh, to uh, show you what the, the different floors are. We're on the uh, second floor, and this is where the uh, secure bridge is, um, which is really close to the hangar. Um, just a uh, hop, skip, and jump, I guess you could say, up the elevator. Um, and here is basically uh, uh, extra hardened combat steel shell inside the outer shell away from the walls and protected on all sides pretty good. So I think this would be a, a pretty safe place to operate the ship in combat situations. Now it does have a first person cockpit as well up on the, uh, the top of the ship. Um, that is a weaker section and not recommended to get into any serious fights from the first person cockpit. Um, so, going up to floor three, it only goes off one side over here. This is the farm section. Um, the farm section, I uh, left out all the grow plots. It does actually have room for 72 of them. Um, and it does have the grow lights installed as well as some switches to turn on like the row of uh, grow lights over here. And as you uh, follow this on through, it just goes out to the uh, the rear landing pad over here, um, which is big enough to land most, most SVs and things on here, maybe even some small, pretty small CVs. Um, that's about it on this floor. And then it has one more floor, and that is where the uh, first person cockpit and bridge is. I guess that's one of the same, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, so you got yeah, uh, basically a nice, nice view that you can fly the ship in first person here, a couple passenger seats, and then you have a crew area behind here with a little kitchenette and some beds and bathroom and uh, beyond. Yes, that's what you have. Um, so that is pretty much the, the whole inner workings of the ship. Now it is, it is pretty uh, battle hardened and tough, especially on the front. There's a lot of uh, a lot of blocks up here, and distance between those blocks and any critical parts by by quite a bit. So it could take, I believe, heavy damage and uh, stay functioning. Um, now what I did do too is I modified this ship to have uh, more uh, forward thrust on it, and I actually left those uh, extra thrusters in place. These are the only thrusters I think. Well. Maybe the only thrusters that you cannot gain interior uh, access to um, due to where they're located on the ship. And they also don't have the, uh, the metal grates over them either. I just I kind of ran out of room to put that in. I wasn't planning on putting these thrusters in here in the first place. It was supposed to be dependent on the two XL thrusters only, which proved to be not powerful enough to move uh, the ship uh, at its weight at maximum speed in space. So I wanted to add the other ones so it could. Now, all these little uh, decal boxes all over the place are 
spaces for additional uh, turrets. Um, there's a lot of them, especially on the bottom side. I put on some turrets for general defense, but most of the turrets are on the top side of the ship or along the sides of the ship. Um, now it does have six uh, launcher bays yet. Um, so you'll find four of them on the back side of the ship over here. I could not give you uh, internal access to get to them um, due to the, the shape of the ship and the fact that there's a big thruster right above them. It just didn't work out. So I didn't bother with that. So you would actually have to place or repair those launchers in uh, um, like out in space or whatnot. Um, you'd have to manually go there, I'm saying. Where most, at, most things in the ship you could fix from the inside though. So you have those uh, launcher bays and you have two more launcher bays that are up over here. So that brings it to the six total. Um, you have two more artillery positions over here and I do think that, although I might need to would have to change this. You could probably dump an artillery back over here as well, or artillery uh, turret that is. Um, so that's that's about where it sits. Um, it's uh, CPU compliant. It's tight for sure, but uh, at, uh, just under the uh, 2.1 million on how it sits. So I, I really can't add much of anything more. I think I could add a couple more field tanks, but. Uh, Let's see, currently in here, we've got 12 uh, of the bigger fuel tanks. So it's decent um, right now. Um, oxygen tanks, uh, we got 12 of those as well in here. So um, feel free to add more though. I think you get, even with uh, without putting in some quantum cores, you could do that and uh, jump it up a little bit more. Um, now what it really needs is more CPUs so you can add in all the other stuff that are missing like six large thrusters and a whole barrage of uh, turrets and launchers um, and other little things like uh, repair bay and stuff. Um, so that's all dependent on CPU. Um, but this is kind of where it stands right now for Reforts Eden. It's spawned in the game and the next, uh, next time we play um, I hope to take this into some battle and see how it does and I'd love to get uh, love to dump in a quantum core and uh, soup it up a little bit more too so or well probably several quantum cores I'm not sure how many it would take to actually fulfill all the weaponry and thrusters and everything that it would it's craving but um, I don't know we'll see so that that is one thing. So moving on to the next thing here, this is uh, this is a CV miner. Um, I haven't textured it, obviously, but uh, I th I think it's mostly complete. Now part of texturing would probably be working some of the blocks some more too to try to get a little better shaping in, in spots on this. But it's essentially it's a block with a bunch of um, uh, mining drills on the front of it. So 12 mining drills. Um, it's got a warp core and has a shield as well. And they're in on the inside here. You can't actually see these from inside of the ship. Um, it has its uh, CPU tier blocks. Now this is being pretty pretty uh, slick with CPU, where it only needs uh, the the one. Um, it, uh, basically, it does not need any advanced. Um, uh, CPU core blocks. It uh, basically you put in the one small single block one and the two medium ones, and that's it. And you get to this uh, 85,000 uh, CPU, and this ship uh, falls within that that range. So it doesn't need the more expensive stuff. Um, now inside of the ship, I got to hook these up to sensors and stuff. But uh, basically, you can access the ship from right or left. You do have one small constructor a ammo box which holds 14,000 ammo um, and then you have two 320k harvest uh, systems oh well all right well I'm missing the harvest box on that side yeah okay well it will have 200 uh, two 320ks uh, I must have uh, blown one away somehow um, and then you have a first person little airtight cockpit here that's kind of protected some um, unusual place for some generators on the front over here, but it seemed to work out and they're kind of protected. Um, it does have a shield. You're not, you're not meant to get into combat with this. Um, 
short of shooting down some drones as you're mining asteroids. And uh, that's about it. Now, the thing is quite fast and maneuverable, though. I, I am happy with that. So if we fly this around, you can kind of see that it's just, it's very, uh, very agile, turns on a dime, um, has no real issues with anything, uh, no, no issues with power. Um, even with the shields charging, there's there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, I don't even know if I need as many generators as I have in here. I actually have four generators in here. Um, it might not need that many. But I think it's worthwhile where I could probably get this in the game and try it out and see how it works. And then maybe find some uh, issues with it somewhere and uh, see where that goes. So it was, it was trying to be uh, cheap for a CV miner. It's still not incredibly cheap. Um, as you can see, the build time on it is 5 hours and 33 minutes, and it's still going to use a um, fair amount of estrium and zacosium, um, and uh, 16 of these large optic bridges and 12 of these uh, laser upgrade kits, and a little bit of platinum as well. So it's not super cheap, but I mean, once you get something like this, I mean, you'll be able to pull in resources really, really fast. Um, flying around from asteroid to asteroid and you zap them pretty darn quickly and get a lot of resources. So there is that. Um, so this thing that's all sitting crooked over here, this is a uh, crazy concept of a Creel uh, CV space combat fighter. Um, and it's uh, I'm not too far along on this yet. Uh, I'm gonna probably get some block rework. Um, but basically, it would be uh, about what it is. You would have a very small third-person only uh, cockpit in it. Um, hardly any functionality, but for combat. Um, so uh, basically, enough ammo storage in it uh, to hold all that. It would have a shield. It'd have a warp core. Um, and as many guns as I could get on the thing. And I'm trying to put all these guns on these, like, arms out here. And there's six arms right now. Although I keep on debating whether or not I should move these uh, these these arms out a little further on the top. Um, I basically built one of these arms and copied and pasted it. And, and they started working on customizing each one, I guess. But um, that's it's fun. We'll see what it uh, comes out to be. It's a really crazy to design. I'm not sure how it's going to land um, if you fly it to a planet's surface. Um, on the nature of it, it just wouldn't land very good. But uh, it might be like a space-only thing. Um, we'll see. We'll see on that one. So on the next, next part here, I was kind of messing with um, this uh, DFA, which is the uh, SCAR Death From Above prototype. Uh, like this is, I believe, the first, this is the version I used in-game. Um, yeah, the exact one here. So then I, I modified it, uh, some on this one, kind of uh, recolorized a couple things and added some more uh, things to protect the thrusters on the back, a little bit more uh, beefed up, I guess you can say, with these uh, vents in place and a little bit more blocks up there and uh, just to strengthen that part up. Um, and then version 3, uh, there it is. Version 3, I kind of redid the body, and I widened it, and I changed its uh, looks, changed its weapon load out a little bit. Um, so this one adds in a couple of these, uh, these pulse uh, turrets, but it removed a couple of the plasma turrets. I also added in two minigun fixed weapons, and this is only for shooting... Um, Sentry guns that are on POIs because none of the other turrets will do it. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to manually target them and, and fire on them. And, and I figured that would be uh, worthwhile to have on a ship like this. But, um, when we were using it in game before, even w as well as a tank, all those little sentry guns, none of our stuff would shoot them. So I wanted something to be able to take out those sentry guns. And this, this, the only solution I can really find on a SV um, is to add in some kind of fixed weaponry. So it's kind of minimal, uh, minimal fixed weaponry. 
Um, so this one uh, maintained the extra armor on the back, but it's just it's a wider body hull to start with. Uh, the parts are separated a little bit more inside, um, and it also has uh, a little bit uh, beefier reverse thrust on it. Other than that, it flies about the same and works about the same as it did before. I just think it's probably a little bit tougher um, and can shoot out those, uh, those, those sentry guns on POIs. Um, so last thing I was messing with is uh, was brought up in the comments about the uh, could the Scar Ripper be used in Reforged Eden. Now this is my biggest and fanciest tank and it was built for vanilla, not Reforged Eden. Um, so I wanted to see what it would take to make this Reforged Eden compliant. Um, so if we take a look at the CPU on here, it is Reforged Eden compliant now. Now, I thought for some reason that uh, CPU on HVs could go up to 60,000 in Reforged Eden, but it seems <clears throat> it's 51,000 is the cap. So I got this just under that at 50,920. So the list of things that were changed and modified on this versus the vanilla version is quite extensive actually, and none of it's good. <laughs> But uh, so to start with, I removed the, uh, the two uh, tree harvesters on the front. I removed all six Gatling guns that it had. Um, I took out uh, two of the uh, reverse thrusters uh, here. Um, I took out six uh, strafing thrusters per side. I ran out of fuel. Sick. Um, so there was uh, a lot of them over here and another group over here. Um, so six of those on there. Um, I ripped out like all the rear thrust and then I uh, put a couple back, but I put in a couple of these bigger ones out, out back to try to save a little bit of CPU, which I think actually is working. Um, I removed the four plasma uh, guns and replaced them with rocket turrets. Each, each rocket turret's 500 less CPU, which is a difference of 2,000 CPU by running those. Um, I took out its only constructor. I took out uh, all four of its uh, RCS that it had. Um, I took out two of the three storage systems. And while I essentially uh, lessened and combined the harvest into the ammo, I haven't updated the signs or anything here, but so it's got about 16,125 ammo storage right now, um, which would be your storage for everything. Now, it used to have two multi turrets on back here. I ripped those out um, as well. And then on the bottom side, I took out, a little hard to see, one sec, let me get off the ground here in a sec. Uh, that should do it. Um, I took out uh, four of the hover engines that were on the bottom side of it. So with the uh, about the 20 some cuts I did to it, I managed to get this to be compliant in Reforged Eden. As it's still a functional tank, I believe. It's just you don't, you don't have uh, a lot of the functionality and no longer can do harvesting and no longer can uh, uh, you can't craft anything in here um, I had to litter the inside with uh, tons of these CPU core blocks just spammed all over the place uh, more explodey parts and it's slower than it was before because well it has a lot less thrusters and hover engines um, but it's I mean, it's a heavy tank. I guess it's moving how I would consider a heavy tank to move. It's not as agile as the Centaur, um, but it is certainly a lot uh, beefier and tougher than the Centaur is um, with more guns. So uh, it's kind of a trade-off. It works, but I mean, I don't know if I want to, I don't really want to release this to the workshop. Um, maybe uh, essentially put, if I wanted to build a heavy tank, which I kind of do now for Reforged Eden, is I'd really want to just start over, ground up again. Um, reason for that is, I mean, this was uh, relying on different size generators. Um, I would really want to utilize the bigger thrusters that were simply not available to use on a HV prior. Um, 
so I could try to, you know, have the same weapon loadout and functionality and strength, but I would have to just change the whole way it's done. Um, and run like less but more of these uh, bigger thrusters and things like that in in the tank to to make it work that way. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. I don't know what to do with this. I hate just just ripping everything apart to uh, you know it's not fun continually having to go through uh, previous creations. Even though this was like almost fifteen thousand under CPU with vanilla. Um, and then uh, just ramshacking it and getting rid of like half of the planned features of it uh, to make it work and reforge eat in them. It's not fun. Um, better, better served by starting over and building something completely new within the parameters of reforge eat in with the new parts available. So it's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, but that's that's about all I've got for today. Uh, Hopefully uh, some some neat new stuff here and uh, some new stuff I would like to test, including this this miner. I think it'll work all right. I still think it's a little bigger than I wanted. It can just barely fit on the back of this ship over here on the landing pad, so it can be moved along with with the uh, with that CV. Um, but. Uh, more of a size thing. I made the choice that I wanted to separate all these uh, these these turrets by one block and not like cram them all next to each other. Um, I think it'll give you a little bit bigger bore pattern. Whether that's useful or not, I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. But other than that, I think I think it would uh, work well as a miner um, for its relative cost and price and its uh, what it can do. Um, but that's about all I've got for today, and if you've got any questions, please let me know. And uh, next uh, next stream we do, uh, I'm going to try to get this ship all loaded up with uh, the right ammo and um, probably head out with uh, Excalibur and uh, see what shakes. <laughs> you know, we'll probably uh, try to attack everything we see um, just to see how it goes. But, uh, you know, it's what we do, right? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, you all have yourself a good day, and I will uh, talk to you later.